system for dynamically changing the background of a scene the player is in. What was perhaps more challenging was that the vision for the player home was a two-story house with a fountain in the middle that could be seen from both floors. What this meant for the implementation of the scene was that we needed the floor to reflect whatever level of construction the bottom floor was currently at. If the player did not rebuild the courtyard pool, but has restored the second floor of Bright Hollow, what they would see from the top floor should be a ruined courtyard. With some smoke and mirrors, we were able to accomplish this. It is small things like this we feel help the backgrounds for the scene feel less like static 2D renders, but alive and responding to players' actions. This is also one place in the entire game that does anything like this, so we were definitely proud to get it working. Welcome back to the Romanian River channel and my rather weird intro in this video, which is of the game Pillars of Eternity, if you haven't read the title. In which case, why the hell did you click this without reading the title? But in any case, uh, since last time I worked around off screen to basically get that get this guy to arrive quicker, which he did quite nicely. And what do I want to say? And I discovered this place in my courtyard. No clue what it is, so let's have some fun poking around before I head off to explore again. Wait. A kitchen. Mm -mm -mm. Now, before I do that, I want to check. Party reputations, friend, somewhat good, friend, somewhat good, defender, extremely good, twin arms, neutral, nice the crucible hero, <laughs> hero, moderately. The dozens eccentric, faintly mixed. Most powerful enemies defeated the Romanian River diseased pudding, <laughs> diseased pudding durant Adra Animant, Sagani, Elder Wolf. Most time in party, Canna. Canna being this guy, I think, right. Huh. The upper floor of Bright Hollow, which becomes available once the Bright Hall restoration upgrade is built, was an opportunity for us to have a location in the game where we could place a bunch of companions together. Here the player is free to chit chat with them and see them outside of their normal combat environment. We felt placing them all here, walking around in some cases, shacked up with other companions, would help reinforce a sense of home to Bright Hollow. As a peripatetic loner, I'm not privy to the latest news. But the Hollowborn Children is a tale that has reached even my reclusive ears. Or, rather, ear. What do Clan Fafn Druids think of the flight? It's been a long time since I've spoken with my circle. They'd probably tell you what I'd tell you. This plight was most certainly the consequence of someone trespassing into Ngwithin places, not meant for folk. I mean, what else other than the gods could inflict punishment of such impressive scale? Any time a life is separated from its soul. I wanted to pretend it was just a rumor when I first heard of it. In my youth, I'd curse the dear woodens for being ignorant to spoilers that breed out of control. But soulless babies? What heartless gods would inflict that kind of tragedy? No parent or child deserves to be a part of that horror. Need something? My second favorite subject. <laughs> what would you like to know? Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs is half shred here and thinks for himself for a couple of seconds. It wasn't uh, entirely by choice, not at start at least. My ambition was to be a hunter. I merely arrived by a different trail. As a child, an Anaf Anam Faf came to visit. An honor guest is occasion for a grand chase, but I was left out. Instructing instead to be a cup bearer to the old wise one while the rest were on hunt. I'm sure you can guess what happens. Wise Anfaf 
gives dumb child a shred of attention, we ended up talking until the hunters returned. He gave me a, his dart, his hands dart across his body, scouring his pockets and folds for his, of his tunic for this. He presents a rusted iron medallion fashioned in the likeness of a hound's head, a common icon amongst the force frontiersmen, explorers and other seekers faithful to Galloway. A hound's head. Good thing it wasn't a wolf's head, or else I think I had stumbled across one of Ceres' um, transdimensional uh, offspring. The RMF um, Aman Faf insisted I be trained, and none in my village would defy him. Now, he smiles broadly. I don't need a bow to hunt. My mother's crotch. You? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. For the record, only I'm allowed to insult my mother. But I respect your dedication to banter, so I'll let it slide. This time. I grew up in Air Glonfof, specifically in and around Thane Bog. My people, the Fisher Crane tribe, are migrant stewards of the land. I've walked the whole of Glonfof many times. Whale is known as the eyeless face, so his symbol seemed a good fit for my eye patch. He absentmindedly runs his finger across the strap of the patch band. Whale iconography is rather popular in my home tribe, but it seems he is not widely venerated here in the Deerwood. I remember thinking that if I consecrated my eye to he who obfuscates and reveals, then maybe with enough devotion we would make use of old ruin thing of the old ruin thing. He pulls on the eye patch strap and lets it go with a loud snap. So if you think you see me staring at rumps and cleavage, it's really just the world of well controlling my gaze, honest. What's your um, relation to Galloway? I was raised as a disciple of the Seeker God. He is the champion of the hunt, be it the simple struggle for sustenance or the scholarly pursuit of knowledge. In my older years, I found he cuts himself off, shakes his head, and stares again. Life has shown me I am more suited the ways of whale. The furious hunt for knowledge often outpaces the journey of real understanding, or to real understanding. Druids are known for changing into animals. What sort of creatures can you become? He takes half step backward as you ask the question. What sorts of things? He says quietly with a long, uncomfortable gaze. Hira stares blankly at you once for the discuss something else. Intellect. Any man with your scars has a story to tell. I'm just going to ask you later if you don't tell me now. Yes, yes, I suppose you should know. I struggled with spirit shifting, the final rite of passage in my druidic training. I prayed to Galloway for insight and, in the style of seekers of old, went to the forest, alone, to ask for guidance. Then I got my answer, an answer at least in the form of a vibrantly colored Stelgar that pounced from the underbrush and made a salient demonstration of its capacity to eat things one-fifteenth its size. Let me guess the beast knocked some sense into you. <laughs> I should disembowel you for talking to me in that tone of voice. But you happen to be entirely correct. <laughs> As the beast was lopping off bits of my handsomeness, I remember trying to fight back, swinging with arms too short to reach. I felt I had the energy for one last swipe at the beast's nose, and when I lashed out with a punch, my arm felt twice as massive, and my fingers sprouted talons! In a rush of power, I shifted into a mirror of my assailant. Apparently, he couldn't pick on someone his own size. By the battle's end, his severed arm was in my maw. The beast limped away in defeat. I thought learning to spirit shift would win me some respect, maybe trap myself in a gear and... Last with a list for little man. Alas, I might have been better off staying a novice. When I wandered back to my village, they saw my wounds and asked what had happened. I showed them. The name they called my form was the Autumn Stagler, and his mouth opens, but he hesitates for a long moment before choosing his words. They are not impressed. The Ryo of my circle believed the Autumn Stagler to be a heinous abomination. They said that if it eats you, your soul in is invariably lost. As this was my first and most intuitive form, they deemed me a carrier of its evil. Even though I never so much as threatened my kin, 
I was ruled unfit and cast out, sighs and scratching his scarred face. I don't know what message Galloway was trying to send. The only lesson I learned was that the seeker god will punish you for seeking. So you're some sort of soul cannibal? <laughs> mm. And stares at you with a frown before covering his face with his hands. No, he mutters. He says, I think not. I've never actually sat down and eaten an entire person to find out. I'm not that curious to find out. No, he says, enough. it chose me, or so I imagine. I always assumed I would shift into a throat. Seems more true to my nature. He points to the imperial pattern of will on his patch. Is the obscured teaches. When the answer is inscrutable, one must be content to ponder the question. Well, if you don't know me, you can't trust me. And if you can't trust me, odds are low you'll leap in front of a flying arrow to save my life. I've been meaning to visit the druids of Twin Elms to see if they know more about my spirit shift. If our journey takes us there, perhaps they can enlighten me with more information about the Autumn Stelgar. But for now, maybe we can talk about something less depressing? Okay. Where's the crazy bat? Oh, she's with me. Can I even talk to her? No, I cannot. Not yet, at least. But in here I can rest, gain the athletics I need, then head off. I wonder if Twin Elms actually became available thanks to that small bump. Or if I actually have to find a damn way to get there. Yeah, creaky chair. <laughs> Gotta love it. Can't really help it. This place, as beautiful as it can be with the absence of children. This is the wrong eyed shagger. Gods only know what secrets she holds. Okay, this Our paths shall part. Let's see. Twin Elms, so this is the way. And if I were to guess, this was the way I'm supposed to go. Do wielding weapons, yeah. It's also highly impractical in actual combat. You could probably use a secondary or offhand for parrying and shielding, but attacking with two hands is gonna be fun. Is a horse dick in the arse to, to, uh, to pull off properly, that is. You could probably pull it off, but... I believe only one historical manual ever went into any depth about it. It was more of a memoir than a manual. I think this is the way. Nope. Crossing, blah. Oh, 
ship. Ready when you are. God, I hate it when I get... Did anybody kill anything? Yeah, they're about to kill me. These guys impressive. No way I can handle this. Not at the current time at least. Or if I can, I need to pull them. Or take care of the spellcasters behind them. Hmm. Not a problem. Now you'd think there would be a way to cross or get it, you know, try to get here, you know. What's the deal with this place though? Things end only to continue anew. Enter now at dusk that we all may experience the new dawn. Something specific, well, what? Don't tell me I have to beat the shit out of those guys to get it. Because if I do, oy vey. Or I have to, pardon.
That needs to deal with. Which is nearly dead. I'm stunned for some reason. Got hit hard. You, huh? Okay. You. Start stabbing. And also push one of those. Why not trigger this guy though? God, I hate this shit. You know what I gotta do. Kite and smite, basically. Find a nice spot I can uh, squeeze them through. To Not force them to fight more fairly. Can I squeeze them too? The place I can imagine is down here. Something? Ready, watcher. Ready, watcher. Following your lead. What? Yeah? Ready when you are. This should be an adequate formation. Hopefully. Not a problem. Come here, baby. That's gonna fuck. Oh, and I got a lioness too. You trigger your lovely thunderstorm. Yeah. You okay? 
You open fire, you open fire. Ready when you are. Need some I'll shoot them. Something? Consider it. Fire in your hole. Wait, how did I? Huh. I guess they really were fragile when it came to not getting poked to death. Okay, let's go take care of those two. <clears throat> So that's why it was so much easier in here. But there's still those two spellcasters to take care of. Awakened Aja, Awakened Wood. Hey girl, got some wood for ya. Yeah, it was a horrible one, but what can I do? something around here but I mean, the only other place it could be is stuck somehow in here object do I need to open that thing is the question organ donor inbound reminding us that it's nearing 30 or actually a wee bit over 30 but 
One sec, I'm just curious. So... All things end, only to continue anew. Enter now at dusk, that we all may experience a new dawn. Okay, let's wait. That's late. What could be the specific item? Let me just so lil Okay, I'm going to leave this off for next time and actually read what the hell is supposed to be in here because I'm stumped. Till next time, though. Thank you for watching, or more precisely, surviving up until this point because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.